Good morning, students. We are going to continue with our chapter, the Egyptian civilization. In our previous class, we have discussed about its location, society, and administration. Today, we will discuss about their daily life. Now, let's begin with the food. Barley and wheat were the main cereal crops produced by the ancient civilization. Their staple diet would have consisted of bread, vegetables, and fruits. They grow different type of vegetables like onions, cucumbers, uh, beans, and the different type of fruits like grapes, dates, figs, etc. Egg, milk, and milk products such as cheese were also consumed. They also supplemented their diet with livestock such as cattle, sheep, goats, etc. Now we will discuss about their dress code. The Egyptians generally wore light clothes because of the hot climate. The clothes that they wore were simple linen garments such as wrap around skirts and dresses. Men wore leon clothes and women wore long, tight-fitting dresses with straps. Linen was produced from flax plant that grew along the banks of the river Nile. Both men and women loved ornaments and cosmetics. Necklace, earrings, bangles, rings, these were some popular ornaments worn by them. Now, let's discuss about their occupation. Some main occupation of the Egyptians were first agriculture, that is the main occupation was the Egyptians. The fertile Nile Valley and the improved irrigation system enabled them to grow a wide variety of crops all throughout the year. Some of the other important professions beside agriculture were fishing, poultry, carpentry, machinery, etc. Domestication of animals such as cow, sheep were also practiced. Now let's discuss about their trade and commerce. Egypt was one of the wealthiest countries in the ancient world. The Egyptians carried out both inland and foreign trade. Trade was controlled by the pharaohs. It was done in the form of barter system. Here you can see the barter system. The medium of exchange was grain, silver and copper. Some items improved by the Egyptians were cedar wood from Afghanistan, ebony and ivory from Central Africa, silver and bronze from Syria and olive oil from Crete. Egypt's large gold reservoirs were often used for exchange purpose. Now we will discuss about the house, the pattern of houses they were having. House were made of mud bricks dried in the sun. They had airy rooms with tiny windows to avoid the full heat of the sun. They were whitewashed to seal the walls and reflect heat. The houses of the more wealthy people had bigger rooms decoratively painted and often had courtyard gardens. We can see these are the ancient Egyptian houses. Now we will discuss about their recreational activities. All the members of the Egyptian society enjoyed some form of recreational activities. People were fond of sports such as swimming, hunting, fishing. Boat races were held along the Nile for people. Gymnastic, long jump, high jump, wrestling, board games. These all were popular during that time. Dance, music, participation in religious festivals were also the part of entertainment. Children played with clay balls, leather balls, papyrus balls, dolls and animal toys. The pharaohs would hunt dangerous animals such as hippos, crocodiles, lions to prove their power. 
Now let's discuss about their religion and belief. The very beginning we will discuss about the mummies. The Egyptians firmly believed in life after death. Therefore, they preserved the body of the dead by embalming in with some chemicals. These bodies are known as mummies. Since they believed in life after death, the mummies were buried along with articles of daily use. The pharaohs were buried along with food, wine, furniture, jewelry and weapons inside their pyramids. Now let's discuss about their religion. Egyptians worshipped various animals and forces of nature. Their main gods were Re, the sun god, Horus, the god of sky and Osiris, the god of the dead. Animals such as jackal, bull and crocodile were also worshipped. Temples were built in honor of their gods. Each god had their own temple and priest. The Egyptians also worshipped pharaohs as their gods. So that's all for today. In next class, we will discuss about the achievements of the Egyptian civilization. Thank you, students.